Hey everyone, I'm Sharon Vaknin from CNET.com with five YouTube tips you should be using. Here's a tip for when you're sharing a video. Let's say you're watching Epic Meal Time and you want to link your friend to the point in the video when these guys weave a bacon cup. The easiest way to link to a specific part of a video is to right click it at the point you want to share and select copy video URL at current time. When somebody clicks that link, it'll take them straight to that point in the video. I don't know how, but YouTube has quickly become one of the most popular ways to listen to music. It's my go-to for listening to new songs or discovering new music, even if I have to filter through all the cover songs first. YouTube realized this and launched a little-known tool at youtube.com slash disco. Here, enter the name of an artist or song and YouTube will automatically create a playlist for you based on what you chose. It's their answer to Pandora. It's not nearly as good as Pandora and it only works for music, but I hope YouTube will develop it to make playlists for things like funny cat videos. Now sign into YouTube with your Google account or YouTube account to use the next tip. Once you've done that, take a look at the video player because it can do a lot more than just pause and play. On the bottom of the player, there's a button called Add To. When you click this, the video will be added to your Watch Later playlist. If you click the arrow on the right, you'll get the option to add the video to a different playlist or your favorites. And you'll see these two shortcuts on any YouTube thumbnail when you hover over one with your mouse. You can check out all your playlists by clicking on your username at the top of any page and selecting videos. On the left, you'll see your playlists, favorites, videos you've liked, and my favorite, your history. I always watch awesome videos and then can never find them, so history comes in handy. And finally, my favorite tip. When a video is buffering, you get that spinning circle. Whenever you see that, hit any arrow key on your keyboard and it'll turn into a game of snake. You can trick it into happening anytime by pressing the space bar to pause a video as soon as you hit play. Now these are only some of the most useful YouTube tips, so if you have some that I missed, let me know on my Facebook page. For more how-to videos, visit CNETV.com and send your how-to questions to howto at CNET.com. For CNET, I'm Sharon Vaknin and I'll see you on the interwebs.